This video provides a simple overview of rules in IBM Planning Analytics. Rules provides a very powerful way to create complex calculations in Planning Analytics. The intent of this video is to explain the basics of how rules work and how you can identify rules-derived values in your workspace. You're probably very familiar with using formulas to perform calculations in a spreadsheet. The most common formula in spreadsheets is SUM, which sums a range of values. Fortunately, the Planning Analytics Consolidation Model handles summation very easily and automatically. When you define a dimension hierarchy in Planning Analytics, the value for any consolidated member is automatically calculated as the sum of any LEAF members that are included in the consolidation. For example, here the one quarter units value is a summation of the January, February, and March LEAF or input values. You don't need to create or maintain any formulas to make these calculations, they're performed automatically and on demand. But what about more complex calculations? For example, you might want to calculate sales as the product of price times units. In a spreadsheet, you can create a formula like this and copy it into every cell where you want to see a sales value. In a large spreadsheet, this could mean you have hundreds or even thousands of cells, each with a unique formula. This introduces hundreds or thousands of opportunities for an incorrect formula. In planning analytics, calculations are performed by business rules. Rules are defined by a planning analytics modeler for each cube in your environment, and they're maintained in a dedicated rules editor. Unlike spreadsheet formulas, which must be created and maintained in every calculated cell, business rules are defined once for a specific area of a cube. Then, the rule is automatically applied to every cell within that defined area. The area could be as large as the entire cube, or as specific as a single cell. In this video, we'll look at a view of the sales cube and the corresponding rules for that cube. This view presents the same data we just looked at in the spreadsheet presentation. Here's how the calculation for sales values is defined in a rule. Sales is the area of the rule, and price times units is the calculation that applies to that area. This particular rule includes the N qualifier. This qualifier means that the rule applies only to numeric leaf values for sales. Any consolidated sales values continue to be calculated by summing the members of the consolidation. Qualifiers can be used to restrict rules to consolidated, leaf, or string values. We won't go into too much detail here, but you can find out more in the Planning Analytics Rules Guide. Anytime a leaf value for sales is requested in the cube, the value is calculated by multiplying the value of price times the value of units. Similarly, gross margin percentage is calculated by dividing gross margin by sales and multiplying by 100. There's no qualifier on this rule, so it applies to all gross margin percentage values in your cube, leaf and consolidated. But rules can do more than just calculate values within a single cube. You can also use them to retrieve values from a separate cube. For example, you might maintain price data in one cube, but want to view that data in a different cube that tracks sales data. Rules provides functions that let you do just that. Here's a rule that pulls price values from the price cube and applies them to the sales cube using the DB function. Price is the area to which the rule applies. Anytime a value for price is required, the rule calculates it. Notice that the rule has both an N qualifier and a C qualifier. So the rule calculates leaf values and consolidated values differently. When a leaf value for price is requested, the rule retrieves that value from the corresponding location in the price cube and inserts it into the sales cube. When a consolidated value for price is required, the value is calculated by dividing the value of sales by units. This provides a rough average price value for the consolidation. There are many functions like DB available to rules authors to help transform data to satisfy your business analysis. These functions are described in the Planning Analytics Workspace Guide. Notice that rules derived values appear with a green background in a cube view. You can't edit values that are calculated by rules, and as an analyst or consumer, you can't open the rules editor. However, you can right click a cell and then click Trace Cell to reveal the rules that define the cell value. For example, here you can see the rule that calculates price, and here you can see the rule that calculates sales.
We've just scratched the surface of planning analytics rules, but now you have a basic understanding of how rules work and how to identify them in a view. For a comprehensive examination of rules, see the TM1 Rules Guide on IBM Knowledge Center.